What's up guys, Kevin Getz here from Me Profit, helping you achieve musical success. Today, I'm answering the most commonly asked question that I ever get, and that is, why do bands and musicians need Facebook? Now, if anyone here watching this doesn't already know who I am, I am just a guy, a guitarist in a symphonic metal band, and I make a full-time living from my music. If that sounds like something you'd like to do as well, keep watching. See, bands and musicians never really understood the power of Facebook as a social marketing tool. What the hell? You guys don't really understand the power of social marketing to begin with, but that's why you're here, I hope. But especially recently, to the public, Facebook is cast in a bad light. Fake news and data abuse being the two big scandals. If you've been living under a rock, um, the fake news aspect of it is coming from both sides of the political aisle. Right and left are both peddling fake news. Although I think the right gets hit harder for it on Facebook, whether you think that's correct or not. And then data misuse, there was the scandal with Cambridge Analytica recently where it was revealed that, I don't remember, they did something shady with user information they'd collected. Believe it or not, Obama did the exact same thing back in 2012, but I don't recall that getting as much negative coverage. Again, I don't care what your political affiliation is, it's not relevant. What's important is that you realize that, one, Facebook is, is recovering from this. They were never even hurt that badly. Facebook is not going to die. It is a perfectly solid platform, very powerful for advertising as well. Their stock recently hit something like an all-time high, or at least comparable to above where it's been for years after Zuckerberg testified at Congress. And it's important to realize also that it is still unrivaled as a place to connect with your listeners. The truth is, though, you guys never used it correctly, or most of you didn't. Facebook was never a place to promote your band's shows incessantly and talk about yourselves like a bunch of narcissists. And it's especially not now, because if, you're, if you don't follow this, I'm going to explain. They change their algorithms heavily so that you can almost not count on reaching anyone who follows your page with your posts unless you are paying for it. Facebook is not the end-all, be-all of music. What it is, and what you guys never used it for, is a discovery tool. You guys are so quick to put your music up on Spotify, right? And you, you cite the reason for that a lot of the time as either, well, everyone puts their music on Spotify, which is a terrible reason, or, slightly more intelligently, if I get put on a big playlist with a bunch of other big name acts, I can get a bunch of fans. Which, yeah, that's true, but that's basically like banking on your YouTube video going viral. Does that really seem smart? That's not what I would do. Facebook, however, as a discovery tool, is unmatched. If you create an ad on Facebook, you can literally find the perfect person to listen to your music. Try it. Go to create an ad. Pretend like you're gonna make an ad, right? When they ask you, to go into detailed targeting based on interests. Type in your band's number one big name sound-alike band. So for me, as a symphonic metal guy, obviously everyone thinks Nightwish when they hear symphonic metal. So I would say, all right, let's show this ad to people who like Nightwish. Boom, I just got my music in front of a million people who are already predisposed to like my kind of music. If my music has a twist to it, if it's, which it does, if it's Nightwish with much more modern and complex guitar work. So, if I were to say, show me this, show this ad to people who like Nightwish and, I don't know, name a complex guitar band, Children of Bodom has performed pretty well for me as an ad. I know 100% people are instantly going to love this, and because I'm already so specific with it, I can include in the text for the ad as the headline. Have you ever wondered what it would sound like if someone combined Nightwish and Children of Bodom? Guess what that does to people's curiosity, <laughs> if these are people who have been dying to hear that sound. Now, what you guys need to realize is that the internet is so vast now. The things that big name bands have been doing since 2005 on MySpace do not work anymore. You cannot just put your music up on Spotify and YouTube and wait to be discovered. You need to be proactive. You need to go out on the internet, take your music to them. And the way to do that is with Facebook advertising. Yes, you can if you're really, really, really good at SEO. You can go into YouTube, you can rank your videos. However, there is still nothing better than switching on. It's like hitting a button to start a flow of traffic that will just stream to you. And if you're savvy, which watch some of my other videos around here to get savvy, the potential there is limitless. It is how I make a full-time income from my music. 
And so, what? What have we done here? We've gotten our music in front of people. How? Well, some people prefer to use ads with the objective for page likes. I don't. I think that's worthless, especially after the new algorithm change where people won't even see what you're posting. I have had incredible success using link click ads to a landing page, which is where I collect people's email addresses. So my goal essentially is to use Facebook ads to build my email list because I know that email will always be shown to people. There's not some other company that owns my contact with my fans. And plus, we'll get into the more specific marketing reasons for an email list in another video because it is there are some essential key steps that you can only implement with email. And other people tend to prefer to use a video views campaign of a music video to warm up an audience. And then people will create another ad that only shows to people who have watched 50% of that previous music video. So these are the most engaged listeners. They've narrowed it down cheaply. Video views are the, the cheapest ad you can run. So they've spent a little bit of money, narrowed down to the most hardcore fans, and then they'll try to retarget them onto their email list. And either way, both incredibly effective. I have not played around with that second strategy too much. However, the point is, you guys need to understand, the entire world is connected now. There are fans literally at your fingertips. Just, just type a few words into Facebook, click a, a link, and boom, you got yourself an endless flow of the perfect listener for your band. Just reflect on how profound that is, how that has never happened before. It has never been this way. And that, ultimately, is why, yes, bands and musicians need Facebook. Set yourself up a page and get marketing. And if you would like any instruction at all on how to go about succeeding at this, subscribe to my channel, check out my other videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.